ladies and gentlemen, you're watching the Fat Money Racing Association Truck Series, and currently, you got Brett Aldridge, who was fastest during practice, and with me is none other than my co-host, Josh Aldridge. Josh. Hey, hey, man, Darlington, the lady in black is wild. This track is it's great. It's awesome. With nine races left in the season, you got to wonder what is on everybody's mind, Josh. Winning. Championships. Over at Aldridge Racing, this man right here, Brett Aldridge, leaving to go start his own truck team, which I know you guys aren't too upset about because... You guys will still work together on somewhat of a basis. Yeah, um, yeah, I mean. But uh, still, losing Brett Aldridge in that six truck. Have you? Uh, have you decided to make an announce? Ooh, make an announcement. Who's uh, who's taking over? Uh, well, no, we're still crossing some T's and dotting some I's, and we're keeping an eye out. We're not exactly sure who's going to take over just yet, but we do have some candidates that's definitely in the running. Well, currently sitting on the pole, we got Jack Bad. Jack Bad drives for Ferguson Motorsports, and uh, I'm wondering why some of these cars aren't. Uh... Okay, we're starting to put times out. <coughs> Trey Fanta currently sitting on the pole. It looks like that's who's going to have it going into the race, Josh. Always a good pick on race day. He's consistently fast. But not. But everybody's going to come away with their Donatin stripes tonight. <laughs> I think it's going to be exciting. Um, I got sad news. Uh. Josh, and I know you're going to be really upset about this because you're the one that set him up originally. The the band didn't show up today. Oh. Uh, we we don't know exactly what happened to them. Um, we uh we went to go find them in their usual location, and no one was there. So, uh, no band tonight. So you're just going to get us jabber John for the next quite a while. So let me go ahead and run off the starting order here, if I can. There it is. Sitting on the pole, you got none other than Trey Fanta. Sitting next to Trey Fanta is the 18. Austin Keesler. We go one row back. We got the 88 of Brett right here. Sitting next to the 7 of Christian Gunn. We got the 56 of Mikey Henderson. Sitting next to the 11 of Jack Bad. We got the 14 of Tyler Ferguson. Sitting next to the 6 of Brett Aldridge. We got the 420 of Zane Hyde. Sitting next to the 59 of Bruno. We got the 007 of Blaze sitting next to the 60 of Summer Rain. We got the 19 of Chris Chaos sitting next to the 002 of Brandon Cook. We got the 710 of Chronic Side sitting next to the 71 of James Norwood. And then we got the number five of Aaron Aldridge sitting next to the 26 of Barry Stern Parts. Junior in one row back. We got the 15 of Triple C sitting next to the 24 of Billy Ray Dog. We got the 57 of JMR sitting next to the 22 of Jackson Beauregard. And then we have someone who seems to be having a bad night here of the 001 of a Yarl. And then it looks like one row back, Corey Gamble, Christopher Rich, who made changes to their car after qualifying, which sends you to the back of the pack, Josh. Yeah, I mean, it, making changes during qualifying, after qualifying, you know, does send you in the back, but sometimes it's the right move. Sometimes it's necessary. You have to, you know, but we'll see how it plays out for him. It's the first time we've seen this rule be implemented here in the FMRA, so it's kind of unique, a little bit different seeing them side by side there, one row back behind Yarl. And as we try to find stuff, stuff to fill the dead air with that we don't have the national anthem, trust me when I say you don't want me singing it. 
That is true, Josh, but I have some things we could fill it with. Let's talk about number one in the truck point standings. If the 57 of JMR, which today looks like he's starting back in the 22nd, Josh. Yeah, and Donkton is one of those tracks that's, you know, hard to pass. At. It's going to be interesting to see if he can make his way throughout the field and make his way up to the front. JMR currently sitting 476 in points right in front of, well, I do say right in front of, but this lead is actually quite tremendous with a 20-point lead. JMR sits in first over Triple C, who's in second with 456, Josh. Yeah, a 20-point lead this close to the end is kind of a, it, it, it's going to be hard to make up the decipent, but it's not impossible. And then we'll talk about a man who shouldn't be where he's at, but currently sits third in standings, although coming into the season late, Josh, is Chris Chaos in that 19. Definitely one that's been interesting to watch week in and week out. I mean, he's gotten a late start, but he's definitely made up for lost time, and he just definitely want to keep on eye on for the day and in and in the future him and Corey gamble are tied with three wins in the truck series <clears throat> a little bit of time left here we'll talk about fourth place who uh oh by the way chris chaos has 446 points which currently places him 30 points below JMR, Josh. I mean, yeah, I mean, wow. <laughs> With the start he's gotten, like I said, the start he's gotten where he is now, just, he's a threat. JMR choosing to leave Rich Money Racing still is something that has me and Josh uh, talking about on our jet trips together to these races. Thank you to uh, the FMRA for them jet flights. No, oh, yes, definitely. Engines have started, Josh. You know, you always, no matter how many times we do this, how many times we see them roll off the start like this, you always get those butterflies in the pit of your stomach, and I know these drivers do the same. Right now, sitting next to the 387 of Trey Fanta, uh, is his uh, partner actually top three is uh, Fat Money Racing. Um, that's that's kind of crazy. F. Fat Money Racing owned by Triple C. Uh, uh, Triple C back there way in the back, but you got the 387, the 18, and the 88 all on a team there, Josh. They definitely have something figured out. Pace car pulls off, and Darlington's going to start. 50 laps, baby. Here we go. As soon as they cross the line. Green flag. Austin, Big clean start. Austin gets a jump there on the 387. Oh. Ooh. Little bobbin. Three eighty seven did not get a good start there, Josh. I take that back. He did. He just can't Ooh. Oh, we got one in the wall. Still in the wall. We got trucks hitting the wall here. Cars trucks trying to space out. Let's keep an eye on everybody as we go into these corners. Well it said if you don't get a Darlington stripe, you're not doing something right. Ooh, we got, he's loose. Trey is just dropping like a rock. We're hearing everybody. I mean, I'm hearing a lot of scraping, Josh. Uh, you're going to continue hearing a lot of scraping throughout the race. I mean, 
Yeah, but we definitely need to see what's up with Trey. Maybe met, uh, technical difficulties with the engine, with malfunctioning or something. He is bobbing and waving. Finally got it up onto that top line, and maybe he'll be able to cut some difference. He's got the 60 of Summer Rain at his back. A lot of people into the wall behind him, Josh. Looks like he was the number five of Aaron Aldridge. Took the brunt of that. And look at him dive down that bottom row. Aaron said, nope, goes up with the 15 and the 57. Nope. Wise move by Aaron there to go to the top line. That bottom line ain't formed yet. That's one rule. Uh, Josh can't really contact his brother while up here. Uh, he's got to leave it to the spotters and stuff. Uh, he, they're monitoring him if he does need to contact him but he's not needed to uh, yet. Yeah. Right now, in the front, ooh, our leader. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, that dog's in strap. <laughs> yeah, that is that is something else. Austin Kiesler up into the wall. Our leader right now sitting pretty good right behind him is Brett right here in that 88 just joined Fat Money Racing. And Brett Aldridge, who's worked his way up to third place, now trying to catch the leader. It was fast in practice. He's definitely one to keep an eye on. I think talking about Brett Aldridge right behind him, the 56, which is, you know, he knew to Aldridge Racing, but uh, driving right now in fourth place well he may be new to Aldridge Racing but there's a reason he is a part of Aldridge Racing we saw something in him and we we knew that we had to snatch him up and we're glad he's a part of the team working his way up trying to catch up to his partner in the six we got the 59 of Bruno a guy, a guy that we did not expect to be as good as he was actually behind the wheel of that 59 truck, but he has done extremely well. We got the 11 of Jack Bad, who was looking to almost have pull, but got it taken away from him. Right now, he is sitting sixth. The seven of Christian Gunn, a man who led in points for a good duration. Right now, though, he is leading in cup uh, in points, so that's uh, that's something to talk about on the next race. <clears throat> I know we're coming to you on an unusual day here, Saturday, uh, the 12th, but uh, and tomorrow being the cup race. So Saturday and Sunday, a weekend of racing. Weekend of fun, weekend of action. Just stay right here and keep it tuned in and Enjoy an action packed weekend. The 18 out in front, and no signs of anyone able to catch him. He is actually put down a 1.13. Oh, really into the wall there was the 88. You know, I wonder how many near wrecks we have had in this race to where they almost wrecked but got the handle on it before mayhem ensued. Probably too much to count. Running every bit of the lane. Oh! Oh! Them little scrapes don't seem to be stopping their speed, though, Josh. No, they have figured out how to uh, adapt and use them bumps and scrapes and Darlington straps to their advantage because it's all part of Darlington. The 11 just got real loose, and the 59 and the 7 now around him with ease. Tyler going to try to pass low. 
Imagine if you wreck the boss, huh? Uh, be a long, long conversation Monday morning. You got the double O two of Brandon Cook sitting right now in ninth place. The man that started on the pole in tenth, Trey Fanta, three eighty seven. You got Summer Rain in eleventh. We got the 420 of Zane High sitting 12th. We got the 007 of Blaze sitting 13th. Triple C and JMR fighting. You know, Triple C wants to be a lot further than this from JMR with how them points are sitting right now. Camera guy. Let's. Thank you. Aaron Aldridge right now in 16th. Jackson Beauregard right behind him. Who just doesn't seem to have the truck tonight, but we'll see what happens. Long race to go. And we're seeing some action on the radio. I guess people are going to pits. Pitting on lap 15, Josh. Mm. It's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out. Pit strategies are Always a key factor in the race. If you can win the race off pit road, you could find yourself in victory lane at the end of the at the end of the race. Seems like they really planned for the halfway caution with this one. Our leader goes to pit road. The 88 follows. Brett Aldrich follows. Mikey Henderson, I believe, was the next one. And JMR is going to stay. Or no, sorry, Bruno is going to stay out. Bruno's position right now, Josh. You chose to stay out. You watched all the leaders go in. When do you go in? Whenever my crew chief tells me to or, or whenever, you know I mean? They're on a different pitch strategy, obviously. It looks like he's pitting right now. Was that a good move? Was that a bad move? I, I couldn't tell you. Looks like Triple C, Aaron Aldridge, Barry Sternpart's going to follow, Tyler Ferguson. I don't know if he pitted already or not. I do not recall seeing him duck down pit road. He may have went through when we missed him, but I, it seems to be smoke. It does seem to be smoke. Several cars, one lap down. Summer rain. <laughs> Trey Good Fanda. Adam. Zane High. Corey Gamble. Yarl, Chronics High, Billy Ray Dog. Josh. Yeah, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out where that smoke was coming from. May have been a grill for a lot, though. Somebody grilling up a burger. Seems like we pit road pit stops have concluded. Everybody's back on the lead lap, it seems, right? Or I, did I miss somebody? I think we're back on the lead lap. And Austin Kiesler reclaims the lead. And as he crossed the line. Here soon. And then we'll have five to go to the halfway caution. Here we go, five to go. That lead is shrinking a little bit. It's down to a, under a second. Number 18, really doing his job tonight, Josh. He's off for a Sunday drive all by himself for the most part. But 
But that lead is shrinking little by little. Every, I mean, each lap it's shrinking by tenths of a second. So we might see something for the end here. Almost four to go. I'm sorry, it is four to go. Three to go, Josh. And that lead gained just a little bit. Just every little bit, but that's fixing to be all the race with the halfway caution coming up. Everybody's going to be back on equal, equal playing ground for a few laps anyway. Mm. Two laps to go. And Austin Kiesler and Brett are trading seconds. But will it be enough? One to go. And wait for the leader to hit the back stretch. Caution somewhere. There's a driver there, homie. And Austin Kiesler is going to be the leader going into the second half. You know, that was a pretty clean first 25 laps to the naked eye, but I guarantee you there's going to be somebody fussing on over the radio about something. Top five looking pretty similar to most of the race. You got Austin Keesland first, Brett Rainier second, Brett Aldridge third, a change here in fourth, which brings Tyler Ferguson up here, which is uh, gonna play very crucially to the next half is gonna be my vote, Josh. And then rounding out top five, we got Bruno. Oh, to pit road. Everybody's just looking like they're hitting pit road. Is anybody, Corey Gamble chooses to stay out. That's going to be interesting. This just shook things up. This is going to be exciting. Corey Gamble, Christopher Rich. Oh. Thank you. Corey Gamble, Christopher Rich, Barry Sternparts Jr., Jackson Beauregard, Jarl, James Norwood, Chronics High, Chris Chaos and Billy Ray Dog chose to all stay out. They was already racing near the back, in the back, so this may have been just a, uh, they're probably hoping for another quick caution after this, but it's definitely going to be interesting to see how they can handle with older tires versus new tires after pit stop. You know, I, I got to bring this back to what you said, actually, at the beginning. With there not being much passing room, position is key. So, was this a good play, Josh? Ah. Uh, enough passing move? Uh, we've got, yeah, I don't know, because there may not be enough room to make passes, but there's definitely enough room to bump somebody out of the way. Well, it's definitely going to be unique. I think, you know, the top four, maybe five, 
really benefited from this with the 722 Corey Gamble, Christopher Rich, 16, and the 26 of Barry Stern Parts Jr., followed by the 22 of Jackson Beauregard, and then Yarl in that 001. And I I don't know, Josh. I If they still had good cars from the latest round of pit stops, what, they had like 10 laps on tires, maybe? They were, if they were the first group to go in. So maybe. Maybe they could hold it out. I uh, we seen we've seen some people drop like rocks on the restart with fresh tires. So maybe the warmer worn in tire will help. I don't know, Josh. Well, we're gonna have to wait and find out, but it's definitely gonna be exciting to see. I just think there are a bunch of sitting ducks. But we the South Sea. Making sure everyone's good and come back together. We should be doubling up this time by and getting ready to go green. Lights are off on the pace car. <laughs> Corey Gamble, Christopher Rich are leading their perspective lines. This late in the season, you see what the lead is like with the leader having 20 points on second place. Is taking risks like this a good idea, Josh? You got a risk for the best, you know, I mean, go for it. Well, we're about to find out. Here we go. Oh! Rich takes off, Jackson Beauregard, James Norwood. Everybody getting bottlenecked up there. Barry looking to get around Gamble, so did Chris Chaos, but it mm. was to no avail there. The 88 has made his way up here. I mean, look, look at the 18, the man who was fastest for the first part of this race. He is being held up behind Brett Aldridge. Everybody just seems like they're just, oh, an accordion effect going on right here. Definitely something to keep an eye on. You know, this could be why them guys chose to stay out. They said, hey, I, I just want a chance to get up to the front. And it looks like it's benefited Christopher Rich. It is paid off significantly for him. Will there be another round of pit stops? Well, they we know that they will be the first to hit pit road. But I'm sure you're they're hoping for a quick caution when it comes that time so they can be back on a pet cycle of everyone else. If they don't have a quick caution, I, I'm afraid their plan did not go as they would have, had hoped. 
Right now, Tyler Ferguson looks like got the worst of this restart. He was up in the top five, and now he's all the way back in last. Jarl has fallen back quite a bit. He was in the top five on the restart, and here he is right now in 23rd. Austin Kiesler, who's led most part of this race, up in 19th and slowly working his way forward behind the number six of Brett Aldridge. Christian Gunn got around both of them in this restart, and he's working his way up tremendously. Triple C ahead of him. Oh! That looked like Bruno. It was. Let's see what happened here. Oh. Mm. Oh, a lot of wrecking. Comes up, taps. The 59 loses it. Almost barrel road. Good to see it went back on its feet before mayhem couldn't ensue with him barrel rolling down the back stretch. And there we have it, Josh. That caution that them guys you were saying needed, and it looks like we're going to pit road. Uh oh. We have people not hitting pit road now. This is this right here is why you don't turn a channel at Darlington. Looks like Summer Rain, Mikey, uh, you got Brett Reinier, Trey Fanta, Aaron Aldridge, and I believe that'll be top five. Yes, and then Brandon Cook, Blaze, Zane High, Triple C, and Christian Gunn to round out top ten. And laps are quickly winding down. If you notice, Summer Rain, Rich Money Racing. Just took the lead from Rich Money Racing, Christopher Rich. I, I think there might have been a game plan here. Like, hey, I'm going to go in, try to be the first one that stays out. You know they discussed this over the, over the mic, over uh, the radio, and probably even before the race even started. Everyone from Summer Rain back stayed out i believe from what uh from what i'm seeing here this is going to be interesting are we going to stay clean racing josh i'm going to say no Hopefully one more time by everyone get caught up and we'll get back to green flag racing right now. You're top three. You got to be excited. Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, why not? Maybe even I'll go as far back as top four or five. Look at who is in uh, fourth place. Josh Trey Fanta. Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the the start he got at the beginning of this race, I know he's happy where he's at because he, he's back up front after a awful, awful start. Good to see him back up here where he belongs. And you got Aaron Aldridge sitting fifth. Aaron Aldridge, every time he has went for a win, bad luck has ensued. I mean, we've seen him go down pit road on the on the last lap, thinking the race was over. Um, we've seen him get wrecked. Uh, I mean, I'm still I'm still salty about that one. We we've seen a lot of things happen to that number five. Is this going to be the chance for Aaron Aldridge to put that number five truck into victory lane? Well, if we do, if he does put in a victory lane, you may I may not be able to hold my excitement, but let, let's hope. Well, we are restacked up. If you want to see who's on the top, it's Mikey Henderson. Summer chose down low. I don't know exactly why she did, but... 
Uh, hopefully she's got a plan here. Maybe she's hoping to jump him on the start. Mikey, though, sitting in a prime spot for a man who just got that driver's seat not too long ago. And, uh, I mean, this is a chance for him to win his spot. <laughs> Pace cars pulled off, Josh. Green flag. And here we go. I don't think Summer got the jump she wanted. Going into turn one. And not enough. She's holding on, though. She's hoping to jump up here. She got loose. Got a little loose. And also caught up in this is Aaron Aldridge, who's back here now. Yeah, that bottom line has proven not to be the one you want to be in on a restart. Aaron has a chance to jump up. I'm hoping he's going to. He's not. He's going to let Bruno have it. Beats him into the corner and he takes it. it. Right now, your race leader, Mikey Henderson. For, for the 56 for Aldridge racing, and right behind him, the man who had pole, Trey Fanta. And then you got the 002 of Brandon Cook, followed by the 420 of Zane High in fourth. Rounding out the top five, you got Christian Dunn. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> pushing back up. Aaron Aldridge on the outside. Also, keys are fell to the inside. We're hearing a lot of scraping. Side draft in there. 18 hoping to follow up in, I think. Dive bombs the corner. Not enough. No, no. It bobbled a little bit, it seems. And here comes the 59 of Bruno to fill the spot. Coming around complete lap number 43. So much excitement going on. I don't even know who's on what strategy anymore. I couldn't tell you anything. What I can tell you right now is the 56 of Mikey has a .795 lead on Trey Fanta, and he does not look to be slowing down anytime soon. And uh, this is the big moment here for Aldridge Racing. <laughs> yes. yes, it is. I'm trying to see what this gap is between Mikey and Trey Fanta at current time. And yes, growing, he, baby. it's growing. And you can hear <laughs> Josh's excitement here as the O2 of Brady Cook trying to catch up zane high doing well top five is looking untouched summer and sitting right outside the top five the 88 of brett ryan here you got aaron aldridge who's worked his way up to eighth place now and trying to get up here a lot of guys fighting hard tonight we got five laps to go For the first time, can Mikey Henderson get that 56 to victory lane? Mikey has done pretty impressive since he signed with Aldridge Racing. He has two top fives and four top tens. But this right here, a win at Darlington, could set him up for future goals, future successes. I definitely can see the smile on Josh's face grow with each <laughs> lap. Trey Fanta holding second. The man who got pull fell back quite a ways and working his way up here. Mikey is running his laps. 
He can hear everything in his ear. But with all that adrenaline running, what are you actually listening to right now? Myself. I'm listening to the hum, the hum of the motor. I'm listening to my crew tree. If I'm listening to my spotter, seeing there's any ground to make up. But I am trying to take out all the excess noise and focus on the road ahead. Two laps to go. Mikey has a 1.192 lead on Trey Fanta. And he is on laps, or sorry, turns three and four coming around. White flag is in the air. Here goes Mikey. Turns one and two. You got it, buddy. You got it. Mikey Henderson down the back stretch. Trey Fanta has a 1.34 gap between him and the leader, and I don't think he's going to get it. Mikey's in turns three and four coming around. And ladies and gentlemen, Mikey Henderson is going to win it here at Darlington for Aldridge Racing. <laughs> that a boy. Mikey gets first, Trey Fanta second, Brandon Cook in third, Zane High fourth, Christian Gunn fifth. And I'll go ahead and scroll down. You can pause it, read the rest of the order. Josh, you need to get yourself down to victory lane, buddy, because it looks like the 56 in Aldridge Racing is celebrating tonight. Yes, indeed. I'll catch y'all later. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.